everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. So, I haven't said anything because I didn't want to, but I've had a few requests from my viewers uh, to kind of uh, do an ASMR reading of the email I received. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to do an ASMR reading of the email that I received from from this person, <clears throat> whose name I still will not say, and the reason is, is because I don't want to. But, what brought this all on? I'm going to share my story. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit subscribe. Back in April, um, a viewer of mine sent me a video of her where she was talking to her downline and she was calling them losers, jerks, and she was going to go to the Elite Summit and ask them to be canceled out by the, the founder of the company, Misty Kirby. I posted that video in a reaction to it because, as fair use allows, I can react to things that are public. It wasn't public to me because I have blocked this person from seeing my Facebook, my Instagram, all that other stuff because I don't want to see what she's up to. But my viewers do send me things. She sent me an email threatening me, so I deleted that original post. However, if you want to see the video that I'm referring to, there's a Facebook group uh, out there called Actually Karen. Uh, no, I'm not interested in your pyramid scheme. And if you go under the videos of this, it's it's on there so you hit more you hit videos and it's right here okay this is the video it's on this Facebook group okay actually no Karen I'm not interested in your pyramid scheme so once it's on the internet it can stay on the internet I'm fully aware of this um, this person has always uh, presented herself as a public figure so she sent me an email and it said, so I asked you a few months ago to stop harassing me. Well, what I'm doing is not harassment in my opinion. What I am doing is shedding light on a, on a behavior. And that's all I'm doing. I've been quite patient. Again, today I was contacted by someone that you showed my face and Facebook content. Yeah, it's on Facebook. It's fair use. Yes, the content which you displayed was from a public domain, but you use your YouTube channel to bully and harass people. It's against the law in the great state of Florida. All right, so what's this email then? Um, is this email not bullying and harassment? Crickets? I think so. You're not just sharing opinions. Yes, I am. That's all I do, is share my opinion. You are lying about me regarding my business. No, I'm not. You're a multi-level marketing person. You are at the tippy top of a pyramid. You recruit people to join you in the business opportunity and you use affluence marketing to bring them in. And some of the people who watch my channel were coerced to join the company because they believe that they could reach the same height you did and have the Burberry and the Bentley and the big house. These are things you've shown on your public feeds. I've seen it, I don't use it, but trust me, they send me stuff all the time. <clears throat> that alone is illegal and could cause financial hardship. Again, it's all my opinion. It's all my opinion, okay? You need an attorney to help you navigate through this since you want to sit at the big people's table. Erica, I do. And that's all I'm going to say. Today you blatantly lied that you obtained my TikTok video. I did. It was obtained. It was sent to me. So it was obtained from somebody. So I will correct, it was a Facebook reel instead of a TikTok video, but it was still sent to me and it was still a public video. It was public on your $5 Bling Bosses page. Okay? First, that video is not TikTok, it's Facebook. It's a Facebook reel. Moron. Okay. Bullying. Second, 
You didn't find that on Facebook because you're blocked from my Facebook unless you have a fake page to stalk me. Uh, I don't have a fake page to stalk you, but there are plenty of people who do not care for you and do not see you in the light that you see yourself, and they send me your content all the time. And they are lots of people, okay? You made a false claim that I was laughing about being a schemer. No, I made an opinion that I thought you were laughing about being a pyramid schemer. That was my opinion, idiot. I'm laughing at people like you claiming I'm a schemer. Okay, prove me. Prove to me that you're not a pyramid schemer. Prove me, prove to me, Erica, that the money you make is not directly correlated with your recruits and your downline. Prove to me that your bonus checks that you receive from paparazzi through the compensation plan that I know how to read. Prove to me that your monthly bonuses and commissions are based off of their sales and not their purchases. Okay? Because from what the compensation plan shows, and I will pull that up because yes, I know how to read it, and I will be snarky today because I'm in a mood. Um, when you go to the paparazzi accessories right here on the income disclosure statement, um, you are in the category of Lux Jet Setter and above. You are in the top 0.01% of this company. Okay, the lowest monthly bonus is a hundred thousand five hundred seventy-one dollars and five cents. The average monthly bonus is a hundred and fifty-four thousand seven hundred ten dollars and eighteen cents. And the highest monthly bonus paid was two hundred and forty-six thousand three hundred sixty-two dollars and twenty-five cents. That's the category that you are in according to the claims on your website. You are an iconic impressionista. They don't even have that listed, but it's under Lux Jet Setter and above. So you're in the top 0.01%. I personally was in this rank right here. I was a star consultant. I was in the 69.77% of people within the company. Highest monthly bonus paid. That was only if you did the business building uh, rebate bonus and you bought so much in a month that you got that rebate. Lowest monthly bonus paid is ten cents. Average monthly bonus is twenty three sixty seven, and that's if people bought from your replicated website. But the other thing paparazzi does that people don't talk about is if you don't get enough sales from your replicated website to receive your monthly bonus, your commissions from those sales, you don't get it. You have to reach a certain pinnacle to get that. Even if you're a star consultant and you've bought your fifty PV for the month. So yeah, I know what I'm talking about, okay? Have you ever read the compensation plan? Well, I just did. Can you read? Of course I can. I read all the time. I love to read historical novels. I love to read uh, lawsuits. I love to read, you know, a bunch of things. Can you comprehend while reading? Yes, I can. I comprehend what I'm reading right now and it's bullying and it's harassment and what it is is it's being uh, demeaning, it's derogatory, um, it's wrong in my opinion. Can you add? I sure, sure as hell can add, Erica. Um, I added up how much you're a diamond seller, a paparazzi diamond seller, which means that to reach diamond, and I'm just going to pull out the book. Sorry, I only have one arm because I broke my arm the other day. Um, to reach diamond, okay, to be a diamond seller for life at the party, and this is a paid for rank, this is the amount of inventory you buy from the company, and if you sell all of it, great, but diamond access sellers have to have 35,000 personal volume, which is 17,500 pieces. <gasps> Simple math! Okay, and if you do the math and say you bought, and I'm just going to put my calculator up here for a second so I can show that I know how to add, multiply, subtract, and all that other stuff. 17,500 pieces of jewelry at $2.75. You're spending $48,125 plus tax at the $5 value. All right. So if you take 17,500 pieces and you sell them and your profit is two dollars and twenty-five cents that's thirty nine thousand three hundred and seventy five dollars 
if if you if you collect um, the full dollar amount on it, how is that six figures? It's not. So I do understand the paparazzi compensation plan, and I'm not lying, and I'm not plastering your colleagues' pictures, and I haven't harassed or stalked them. You guys are all public figures, and you're in multi-level marketing. In multi-level marketing, you have to constantly be posting on your phone and using your public persona to recruit more people into your company. I'm not wrong there, am I? That you are constantly trying to get more people to join your company because it's an amazing business opportunity. You falsely claim that no one makes money in paparazzi but elite. Um... Prove me wrong on that. Um, I lost money in this company. I know of at least 1,400 plus people who lost money in this company. I know former elites who said uh, that even with their commission checks every month, they use their commission checks to pay off the credit cards to continue to buy more inventory. And then when they left, they still had a bunch of inventory. In fact, there's another elite that posted in a group that said, do not inventory load, because she herself inventory loaded, and she's still trying to offload all the inventory she bought when she quit. Okay? Having a garage full of inventory is having a garage full of dead money. If it's not sold, it's not profit. It's dead money. Okay? You use our income disclaimer to support your false claims. Um, I'm using the income disclaimer to point out what paparazzi claims. Okay. The only disclo the disclosure is only team building earners, which is 1% of the organi organization. The other 99% of the organi organization sells jewelry, stupid. Uh, man, you're, you're a piece of work. Self-awareness is completely lacking here. <laughs> I'm a piece of work. Yeah, I'm relentless. Okay? I'm relentless. And I'm consistent in getting my message out there because my message has helped people. I personally know that I have helped people recover from the bullying they received from their uplines. I helped people recover from the depression they went through when they inventory loaded and lost money. And I let them know that it's okay that we all made the same mistake. So, yeah, I'm a piece of work. Because the goal of my channel is to educate and form. And the goal of my life is to treat people like human beings. Okay? And calling out your behavior and the way that you treat people is just something I'm going to do. And I'm sorry that you don't like being called out. But... Why are you picking on me? That's the question. I'm just pointing out my paparazzi experience. You know, my paparazzi experience, I was told to inventory load. The more, the more inventory I had, the more customers I would have. I was told to get a Shopify website, and I did. Uh, I was told to go live every day, and I did. I was told to quit my full-time job and do this full-time, because that's where the money was at, and I did. You know, I was lied to all the time. So I'm pointing out the things that I was told and sharing that experience with everybody else and they're realizing that they were told the same thing. Let's keep going. How in the world do you sleep at night with the lies you tell? Um, they're not lies. They're my truth. They're also my opinions. Are you so miserable that your life's mission is to destroy others? Uh, I'm not miserable. Uh, my mission is not to destroy anyone. My mission is to bring awareness and to educate. I'm not setting out to destroy anybody. My mission is to educate and inform. My mission is to make people aware of what they are doing. And I think that I've made uh, strides in that. Because before, paparazzi never had on their promotions tab section 5.19 of the policy and procedures that says do not inventory load, I think I had something to do with that. 
because I constantly pointed out that the promotions were for the consultants, not actual customers, because the customers are the consultants. Your customers are probably consultants. Again. I plaster Misty's face daily like a freaking psychopath. Well, Misty, Misty Curry should stop going live to shill her jewelry to people. She should stop doing hidden peeks and sneak, you know, hidden gems and sneak peeks with Misty. But she goes live to sell jewelry to her customers. Her customers are her consultants. So she goes live to tell everybody how much she loves something and how cute it is and how fun it is and how yellow is her favorite color and it's such a happy color. So if she does not want to be, um, if she does not want to be judged or reacted to via fair use, then she shouldn't go live and post things. Okay. That woman has children. That was her choice. There's a lot of people that have children. People in your downline have children. There are people that, after the 2021 Celebrate Convention, um, their children lost their parents because of what happened at convention, because they contracted a communicable disease, and they lost their lives as a result. And I believe you are one of the main ringleaders behind that, telling everyone to be hush-hush about it. So what about those women's children that paparazzi has never acknowledged? You care nothing about her safety of her or her family. What? I'm, I'm watching a video and making fun of the things she says, and I'm pointing out that the stuff she says is weird. I'm not doxing anybody. You know, I don't know where she lives. I've never pointed out where she lives. I know where paparazzi headquarters is. Everyone knows where paparazzi headquarters is. It's on their freaking Facebook page and on their website. So, that's, are you, are you uh, bowing down to your queen to show her that you went to her defense too? Okay, good for you. But you say you're for the people. I am. I'm for the people that got hurt by this company. People that got hurt personally by you. If you've been personally victimized by anybody in this company, raise your hand. Leave a comment down below. <clears throat> this is it for me. If you ever show my picture, my home, my videos, or any $5 bling ba bla bosses in my downline, I'm taking every legal action I possibly can against you. Well, here's how you uh, quell that, Miss, miss uh, Person. Don't post pictures of yourself. Don't post pictures of your home. Don't post pictures and videos to your $5 bling bosses. Don't go live. Don't be a public figure. If you don't want people to criticize you, do not post every single day, six to seven times a day. It's called fair use. People are going to react to it. And I hate saying this to you, but here's the deal. I stayed silent. All I did was post your email to my blog and the world knows it's out there. There's already been two other YouTube videos that have been done by uh, other creators who are freaking phenomenal, by the way. Um, the community is aware of what you did. You're picking on me, somebody who has set out to help other people heal. Because one, it helps me heal by giving somebody else love and support and letting them know that it's okay to make a mistake. The important thing is to admit that you made the mistake and to move on. That's what I, that's the whole goal of why I do what I do. Okay. So I will pay the legal fees for my downline. So that you harass. So you better do your damn research before you show another consultant's face. Again, uh, it's called fair use. If they're live, they're public on the internet they can be used, okay? I'm just pointing that out. If they posted a video publicly on Facebook, anyone can see it, it eventually will make my its way to me. They always do. So, I'm contacting the YouTube executives to let them know that they allow, if they allow you to continue, I'm suing them too. 
sit down and shut up. <laughs> okay. I've also downloaded your videos for future court records in the names of your financial supported. They too will hear from my attorneys, should you not leave me the hell alone. No. Just, no. Why are you trying to scare, scare everybody? I don't get it. Hope to never hear from you again, but I'm okay if ha what well, I'm also okay with having a lane place on any property you may own. Try me. Well, here's the deal, Erica. I don't own any property, so good luck there. Um, <clears throat> and in order to have a lien placed on someone's property, you usually have to take them to court and then file a judgment and win a judgment. And uh, then you can do that. But here's the thing. If the property, you know, never changes hands, um, yeah. So there's that. Um, I hate the threats. And there's the person who sent it. And then the person decided to leave a comment on the video, which I reported as harassment and bullying. To all her financial supporters on here, you will, you too will receive affidavits once I file my claim. Uh, affidavits? Do you know how stupid you sound right now? Um, <laughs> an affidavit? <laughs> Look it up. I'm not even going to educate you there. Just look it up. <sighs> so, here's my thoughts on this email. Obviously, I'm making an impact in some little bit of, some little way. Um, I'm making a small little impact in, in the paparazzi pyramid scheme structure. That's all I can think of. And when someone attacks you like this, they're afraid. Okay, when you're being attacked like this, I think the person is just afraid. They're afraid of what is happening. I'm going to make myself bigger. I think that the anti-MLM movement across the spectrum with everybody out there, uh, there's Savannah Marie, there's Clown Town, there's C.C. Suarez, Savvy Writes Books, Aaron Bees, Julie Joe, Cruel World, Cruel World Happy Mind, there's Mac, um... There's a bunch of people out there in the anti-MLM community. There are some anti-MLM creators, which I will not name here, who also engage in this behavior of harassment and bullying. The thing is, is we don't have to put up with it. We don't have to deal with it alone. Because we are a community of people using our voice to help educate and inform others and to protect them from making the same mistake I made with the consumer uh, aspect of it. So, I'm just going to shed light on one more thing because I do think that this is extremely important. If you see uh, questions, if you are being invited to join a pyramid scheme, you should do these questions. And this is something I have tagged in every video I do. If you're thinking of joining a multi-level marketing company and you're invited to an Opportunity Zoom or an Opportunity Live or you see someone talking about uh, the opportunity, these are the questions that should be asked. How long have you been in an MLM? How much money did you make year, last year after expenses? What were your expenses last year? Have you borrowed money or used your credit card to fund your business? How much did you borrow and how much do you owe? Do you need to have recruits to make money? How many people have you recruited? How many did you recruit last year? How many of your recruits have left the business? What percentage of the money you made came from actually selling the product to customers outside the MLM? What percentage of money you made, income and bonuses, less your expenses, came from recruiting and other distributors selling them inventory or to get other items to get started, i.e. affiliate links? How much time do you spend on the business? How much inventory did you buy from the MLM last year? Did you sell all of your inventory? These questions are really important to ask. I think they need to be asked when someone's inviting you to a business opportunity. This, this is an article by the FTC. And again, when people were in an opportunity live the other day, they were asking these questions. And instead of getting the answers, they got blocked or they didn't even bother to read them and look over them. 
this is what I'm advocating for. For people to be educated on what they're actually spending their money on and what they're getting into. So, to protect my financial supporters, I'm not going to put the member shout out page up for a little bit because I want to protect you guys and I think that's the right thing to do. So, I want to thank all my financial supporters, all my new subscribers, all the people who liked the video and made it to the end of the video, and the commenters down below. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being advocates for each other. Thank you for standing up for one another. Thank you for being real friends. And thank you for being the kind of people I like to associate with. You guys rock. So, have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.